Hello. I bought these um, LD Medion um, smart plugs and attempted to use it today. And guess what? I ran into a major problem. But good news, there is a solution. Their Medion Life application, um, you're, you can't make an account or create an account to start setting it up. And also, you can't log into an existing account of some problem we don't know. And LD says they can't access the system or system is down and it's been going on for some time. And I found a solution which I would like to share with you and help you set this up on your device. And so I'll give it a go. I'll show you the problem and then I'll show you the fix. You know, it's Christmas time now, and I was setting up the LED light, only to find Blinkit is going. And this application is totally rubbish. It is a good application, but it doesn't work anymore. And I'll show you how you can add it to your um, Google Home afterwards. Very simple, nifty device, and it's a, it's not actually made by Medion. I suspect it's made by either Xiaomi or another company called Taiyu. I'll tell you why I suspect it could be Xiaomi as well. Okay, so um, following their grand instructions. So this is the most useful information I found. Basically, blinks twice per second. That means it's in pairing mode. Lights up continuously, meaning power on and off. Obviously, power off. And that's all you need to know. So now I'll show you the video on the uh, mobile phone. So in this case, I'm going to get it working on an Android. Going to charge up this phone. Power off. Not charging. Power on. Charging. Okay, so the unit works, but we can't get it to work on the mobile phone app. So let's go and fix it. So most likely you're like me. You've downloaded the live application and either try to log in or log in with an existing account which you cannot log in anymore so if you go to create new account fill in your details and your email address next And you will get a verification code. Type in a password. Hello world. Some special characters. And verification code. Oh, it wants a number as well. Okay, there we go. We say confirm. Unknown service error. Please contact customer service. Now, this issue here is not actually a problem with your password or the code. Aldi most likely lost access to this service, and this is why you're having this issue. So, the workaround is this. So, from Google Play Store, search and download. Tuya Smart. So download this application and open it. Now, it's the same process when you're adding the account. You will notice you will also receive an email just 
like LD's format. Have a look at this. This is the one from LD's application, the way the email is coming in. And if you have a look at Tuya Smart, look at that. It's exactly the same. And if you're wondering how I figure this out, um, I'll show you how. So when I went into Google Home, And when I went into Plus and set up a device and choose Work with Google, have, or have something already set up. And when I search here uh, Life, which is the Aldi's Medion application, this one here, and Wait for it. Look at this. Look at the URL at the very top. T-U-Y-A-U-S dot com. So that was an indicator to me that this is provided by another company, not Aldi. So T-U-Y-A-U-S dot com. If you have a look at that on Google. T-U-Y-A-U-S dot com. Do a Google search. There we go. You can see. Now, going to going back to adding this um, second. So I'm going to add my second smart plug. So I've created the account and I've signed in, and I'll show you how you can add your smart plug device. So the way we do it is we press the plus button and we choose socket wi-fi oh, by the way the reason why i said this is actually part of xiaomi is have a look at this look at the way this screen is and i'll show you how xiaomi at a device section looks like so have a look in comparison so this is Tuya, and this is Xiaomi. And manually, or auto scan. Auto scan means nearby, just like devices nearby. You can see how they both have a radar spinning around, and they both have a QR code. And add manually, and you can switch between categories. Pretty much the same setup. Anyway, let's continue. So you need to say socket Wi-Fi. Now, what you need to do is for your Aldi device, you need to put it into a pairing mode. So I'll switch the camera now and I'll show you what I mean. And then we'll come back to this. Okay, so now whatever the state your device is in. So turn it off for now. And you want it to bring it to blinking state. So fast blinking. So hold it for some time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you will see the light flashing very quick. That's all you need to do. So what you do now is you go back to your phone okay so now click on confirm type in your and uh, select your wi-fi on the list and then type in your wi-fi password and click on confirm now just wait the lights will turn off on your power adapter. And first two items will be checked. Yep, and now it is connecting to your router. And now it's searching for it on the network. And here it is. That's how simple it was. Give it a name, 
So I'm going to call mine downstairs. Done. And there we go. That's done. Now, if I switch it on, you heard the mobile phone charging. I'm going to switch it off. And then back on. You see? That's how simple it is. And you can go into the statistic and get information about the power usage. This is a nice idea. And you can set a countdown or a timer, when to turn it on, when to turn it off. And I'll show you now how you can add this to your Google Home. Well, once you've added the um, So in Google Home, once you've added, uh, set up the device and you've added the account, so the, sec the second part works with Google, has something already set up, you simply choose here to search for TUYA and simply link your Google Home with Tuya Smart and all your devices will just show up automatically. Just like mine, you can see here balcony downstairs, and you have the power on and off buttons here as well. Hopefully this helped you in some way, and share this video with anyone who has similar issues. See you in the next video. Thank you.